So my connection between my uh, final outlet and my upper charging outlet, I'm making in a junction box because this is in an area where I may want to add something in the future. Feels like a likely spot. And so I want to do this in a way that I can add things to it later. So we're going to get this labeled so I, don't, so I know what I'm looking at when I come back to it. So the ground in this one, um, I could do it again with, uh, with the crimp connector and I would just twist these guys around really good and then uh, put that back here and crimp that down with my, with my crimping tool in these slots here. But, um, you know, just goes in there. But, like I said, I might be wanting to add something here later, and, you know, you could always, uh, you could always add, you know, another one and put another wire in later, but, um, and that's because you, uh, I'm doing this because you only want to have one wire under your grounding screw that's in the box. So, a metal box, metal junction box has to be grounded, so... I've got that screw going in. So I'll just do it an, like the J-style bend in the end and connect this here. But in this case, since I want, want to add something, I'm going to use this uh, grounding wire nut, which I've actually never used before. But I can connect like this. Still have my single wire to connect. And then later, I could, if I needed to, I could probably add a couple more wires in there uh, if I needed to. So that's how we're going to do this one. Like I told you, my, my work isn't really <laughs> the prettiest, I'm sure. Now let's see, you want to go clockwise on these. Helps to get some of these bends done first. Let's see. So we want to come out probably something like, like this. Mm. I don't think I gave myself enough room for that wire nut. So we'll change our angle over here. Like I said, my work's not the prettiest. But for me, I have found that it's easier to kind of pre-bend my wires. End up fighting it, fighting it less later. Let's try that. Oh, of course, then I forgot to put my wire nut on. So that bend should have waited later so 
unfortunately with copper you can get away with <laughs> doing this a couple of times without breaking it. Okay. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. All right, let's try that again. Okay. Okay. Get these stripped. Oh, maybe pretty simple options. white to white and that's pretty simple at this point in this box at the rear of the bus I got one box with eight cables coming in so that will be fun okay Like I said, my work isn't necessarily pretty, but check and make sure the connections are all still tight. And that one's that one's done. So you know, normally you would um you just rough in wiring and then you'd finish your walls and do your painting and etc but I really want to be able to I really want to be able to test my work and check everything while it's still somewhat accessible so I'm going to go ahead and do everything and then I'll I don't know so I'll go ahead and uh do everything just so I can plug it in and make sure everything's working right before we trim it out.